Okay guys, we have two sunscreens that look almost exactly alike, but are supposed to be for different skin types. That's what we're testing out today. So today I have the Super Screen by Supergoop, and then we have the Triple Prep by Supergoop as well. So if you are interested in learning about the differences, seeing them applied to my face, and seeing how I think about them, just stay tuned. Welcome back. My name is Dana, if you didn't already know. And today, like I said, we're going to be comparing the two super, I guess we're going to call them super screens because this is what the original is called. And then they came out with a new one, which is called the triple prep. These are both by Supergoop. They're both $48. You both get 1.7 ounces. It's a lot of money for both of them, but they are supposed to double as your moisturizer and your sunscreen. And they both have SPF 40. So what we're gonna to do today is I'm gonna apply them to my face, one on each side. I'm gonna talk through kind of how they differ, how they may not differ, kind of my pros, cons, thoughts on it, and then if they're worth it for you. So if you do like this type of video, make sure you're subscribed below and give this video a big old like because it does help my channel so much. And without further ado, we're just gonna jump in. So this is not a new sunscreen from Supergoop. This is the Super Screen, but they did come out with a new version, which is the Triple Prep. And they both are in the same kind of packaging where you twist it off, which is like that. And then it's got a little protective cover like so. And then the actual sunscreen is in the base of it. I don't mind this kind of packaging. I actually prefer it over some of their others because they have like, I don't have it in front of me, but the top is very small. So it doesn't actually sit on like your shelf or whatever without always falling over. I find this to be much more kind of compact, not so compact, but it does sit and stay on your counter much more easily without falling over. So that's one little thing. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be applying a quarter of my teaspoon to my face. I'm gonna do half and half. So I'll do about a, um, an eighth of it on one side and then an eighth on the other. And that is because with this type of sunscreen that basically is a moisturizer and a sunscreen, one of the most important things is that you are actually putting enough on. I think a lot of times people will put on just like a little dab because that's how much moisturizer they would put on. But since you are using this as your sunscreen, you need to remember to put the correct amount on. So let's get into it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of scoop it up in here and kind of eyeball it because it's not gonna be perfect. But first one we are putting on is the super screen which is the original and this one is for dry skin so like i said the super screen this is the rich hydrating cream spf 40 moisturizer face sunscreen it retails for 48 dollars and is 1.7 fluid ounces what they say about it is it's a rich daily cream with an improved formula so they did reformulate it um, that intensely hydrates, nourishes, and protects for promoting smoother feeling, healthier looking skin. As far as our ingredients, this is 100% a chemical sunscreen. You've got 3% avobenzone, 6% homosalate, 5% octosalate, and 1.5% octocrylene. So for most people, I'm going to venture to guess that that's as much as they would apply. It's a pretty amount a pretty standard amount of moisturizer you've got a nice glow it doesn't feel overly greasy but the problem with that is i've only put about half of what i really need on so i have to continue to put it on if i really want that spf 40. it does have ectoin which helps defend against oxidative stress and then ceramides which help with the moisture barrier and then an algae extract which is supposed to have essential uh, lipids and amino acids in it so one of the things about this sunscreen is I used to have this one, but this is a brand new bottle for, or jar for me, but the old one had this terrible scent to it. Like I could not put it on. This one has no scent to it. There's no essential oils. There's no fragrance in it. Obviously it doesn't have a white cast. It's a chemical sunscreen, so it shouldn't have a white cast, but there's no visible white cast whatsoever. This is the type of sunscreen that you want if you have dry skin. This is going to be your moisturizer, your sunscreen all in one. And it is quite rich. It does sink in, um, but for me, it's gonna be a little too much. Like my skin, it's gonna sit on the kind of the outside because I have more normal skin. So if you do have normal to oily skin, this is probably not gonna be the best choice for you. But for my drier skin friends, this one is gonna be a great option. So I will say, both of these do cause an eye sting for me. It's not the worst eye sting where like the second you put it on your eyes start watering or it starts burning. It's more of a like a, a slow burn, if you will. Um, and I think it's just because they are moisturizers and if you do kind of get it near your eye, 
over the day, the product does kind of move around. So if you are gonna wear it and it does sting your eyes, I would suggest either avoiding your eye area or if you are gonna use it over your eyes, setting it with a powder and that should eliminate any of the eye sting. Okay, let's put on the new one. This is the triple prep, same type of packaging. And one thing I would suggest if you do use these types of sunscreens and you're considering getting either of these two, I would suggest just having your like quarter of a teaspoon, have it by your whatever in the bathroom or your vanity, because it is important that you are putting the correct amount on. Otherwise you're probably not going to be getting the protection that you want. So this is the new triple prep weightless multitasking moisturizer. Again, SPF 40, 1.7 fluid ounces and for $48. So this is a newer product from them, brand new. It's a moisturizer that's supposed to deliver hydration, moisture barrier support, and expert SPF with a hydrating complex of ectoin and hyaluronic acid. But very similar to the first one, but different in that it is for normal combination and oily skin. As far as our ingredients, this is another chemical sunscreen, but it does have different active ingredients. We have 3% avobenzone, 7% homosalate, 5% octosalate, and 6% octocrylene. It also has a pretty different ingredient list, so I wouldn't say that these two are similar in the sense of like active ingredients and any of their other highlighted ingredients, but they do feel very similar. They're both a cream, but that's kind of where the similarities end. So the triple prep also gives me that kind of very slow burny eye kind of burn and sometimes watering. But again, it's not that bad if you kind of can avoid your eye area or set it with some type of powder. In terms of finish, you can see that it does give a glow, but under these lights, I do think it highlights the difference. This side is basically the product has already sunk in, whereas this side, I still feel like quite a bit of, I wouldn't say greasy, but it's definitely sitting on the skin more. And that's because this side with the triple prep is going to be way more suited for my skin type, whereas the super screen is going to be a little bit heavy for me because I don't need that much moisturization. But this is almost set in within like a few minutes of me putting it on my face. So I think this highlights the differences in it pretty quick, clearly. One thing is if you do have more sensitive skin, some chemical sunscreens can kind of irritate your skin. My neck always has a little bit more of like, it's just more irritation prone. So they have kind of irritated that. Um, it's a little bit red there. It doesn't hurt necessarily, but I would caution you. And if you can try it out, maybe like do a patch test. If you're in a Sephora, if you do have sensitive skin, these may be a little, you know, hit or miss because of that chemical sunscreen aspect of it. But overall, I think these are very nice sunscreens. I, <laughs> if you've ever been on my channel, you know, I have a very love hate relationship with Supergoop. I think their sunscreens are so accessible. They, the packaging is clever. The branding and the marketing is very clever, but I don't think they're suited for people who really love sunscreen and like, like to lather it on. I think they're really suited for your kind of everyday user who this is their one and done, which is great. Moisturizer, sunscreen, all in one. And they don't think too much about it which is good in a sense, but also probably not putting on enough. And a lot of the super group sunscreens are like that. They work really well in small amounts, but when you go to put on the correct quarter of a teaspoon, they don't always work as well. That said, I do think that these two work better than a lot of the others that I've tried, especially because they are invisible, they have no scent, and they're really catered to skin types, which is a big thing in sunscreen. I think a lot of times, a sunscreen just comes out and it's meant for all skin types and it doesn't do that. It's just not going to work for all skin types. So it's nice to see that they did make one for oily and combo skin people and then one for drier skin people. That said, I feel like the triple prep was a missed opportunity. There aren't a lot or many or any, if I've seen, of sunscreens that are creams that are supposed to be moisturizer and sunscreen that are a gel consistency, like a true gel, water gel moisturizer. And I feel like they could have just knocked this one out of the park had they made it a gel cream versus just your normal cream. And then it really truly would have been great for people with oily and combo skin. But because it's just more of a normal cream moisturizer, I think it can be a little bit, it's not gonna be heavy, but it's also maybe gonna come peek through your skin as you wear it longer in the day. So if you are combo, you may get like a more oily T-zone throughout the day. It's not gonna be a matte one. It's not gonna make you matte all day. It really is gonna be a little bit hit or miss depending on your skin type. But overall, I am super impressed by them. I do always wanna mention $48 is pretty much their set price for all of their sunscreens. Not cheap at all. And you are getting the standard amount but if you're using this as your moisturizer and your sunscreen every day, you're probably gonna go through this in about a month. 
So you're spending $48 about every month. So not for the faint of heart. <laughs> These are not cheap. I don't ever want to say that they are, but I think they're a really good option for a lot of people. And I think it can cut down on a lot of steps. And I'm actually considering taking this, um, the new triple prep when I go to Boston this week, because if I can cut down on products that I take in my bag, that's always a good thing. And I know that I'll put the right amount on and I think it could be a good kind of space saver when I travel. So that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it helped. As I'm still touching my face, I can see this side is definitely still more set in. It's kind of just sunken into my skin and this side, it's sinking in, but it's gonna take a lot longer because it's just not meant for my skin type. So we're gonna end there and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.